Hello everyone, Mitchell here from Master Jewel demonstrating the Cat5 two-piece RJ45s. Uh, these are also available in Cat6, but the idea being that the second piece allows you to better align your cores before crimping, essentially making IP and network installations that little bit easier. So easy, in fact, that even I could do them. Uh, so anyway, starting from the beginning, we've got your usual, so stripping tool, snipping tool, and crimping tool. And then on the side there, we've got the anti-ference uh, meter tester uh, for testing the cable at the end, and of course, my cup of coffee. So like usual, get your length of cable that you want to put the ends on, and use the stripping tool to remove the jacket. So I give it one turn clockwise, one turn anti-clockwise. And then that jacket will just come straight off, revealing all the cores, uh, as seen now. Uh, so at this point, this is when you're wanting to untwist all your pairs and get all the get all your cores all lined up. So obviously I've sped this bit up because uh, I'm not the quickest at it, and it's also not the most interesting to watch. I'm hoping that a lot of our IP guys will be quicker at these when they've got 16 of these to do each end. Uh, but anyway, once you've got them all untwisted, you might see a sort of a silver string type thing. It's obviously your rip cord. This definitely comes on our cables, but uh, for now we won't, don't need that. That's something to get in the way, so give that a snip, get rid of that, and then you can get to lining up and getting all your cores the right way around. The standard RJ45s, repeat it with me. Stripey orange, solid orange, stripey green, solid blue, stripey blue, solid green, stripey brown, solid brown. Once you've got them all aligned, it might be worth now doing a, doing a little snip here to make sure they're all the exact same length. Because once you untwist them, they'll all be slightly different lengths. Uh, so once you do that, it makes it easier for guiding into the uh, two-piece crimp connector. Then I'm ready using the guide of the two-piece crimp connector to simply slide the cores into it, uh, getting it ready for putting into the crimp connector. Uh, so what I'm doing is uh, stripey orange is going to be at the top left, uh, the top being the side with the lip. Uh, so the lip is at the top and the stripey orange is on the left. And then that will simply slide down and you'll be able to get that as close to the jacket as possible, um, ready for putting into the crimp connector. So once you're happy with that, that is when you can snip away the excess cores uh, and get it flushed down to the guide and then give it one final check, make sure that all your cores are in the right place, none of them are crossing over and they're in the right order, and that's when you're ready to put it into the RJ45. Make sure if you have the lip facing up, then you've got the clip of the RJ45 pointing downwards. Then all you need to do is slide it into the RJ45 and you'll see it click into place and it'll sort of resemble an RJ45 there. Uh, but now you're ready to put it into your crimp tool, obviously through the eight piece. Uh, so slide that through, make sure it clicks into place and then uh, just give that a few, a few presses, a few crimps, make sure that's uh, nice and tight. Obviously keep it firm. Uh, making sure that it doesn't budge and you're getting it uh, as solid as possible. Obviously, the benefit of the two-piece RJ45 was that I could assess whether I had the cores in the right direction using the guide before it went into the RJ45 and I crimped it. This meant that I was uh, very confident before I did the crimp that the uh, connection would be perfect uh, because obviously I could assess it before it went through into the crimp connector. Um, but now, just to double check, I'm going to use the ATR269 uh, LAN and coax tester from Antiference uh, just to test the connections. So the other end I previously made, put that into the Terminator, and the, there you go, you can see there that the uh, tester has come back, it says pass, uh, meaning that both ends are lined up and they're all uh, connected and working perfectly. Um, so you can see there, each core lines up, and otherwise they'd be flashing, and they'd tell you exactly which cores aren't lined up. And uh, this is something that I will demonstrate now with a one I purposely made faulty. So here's the other lead that I made. Um, as you can see, on this end it looks to be fine. However, if I look at the other end, um, you can see maybe, uh, it's very difficult to show on the camera, it's actually difficult to see with my own eyes, but um, you can see there, it looks as if the orange uh, is not connected to the pins. Uh, it looks like something, I've not aligned them properly. Uh, so if I open up the tester, and just hit the first option, which is LAN mode, um, it will give that a test, and straight away it comes back fail. Uh, it says obviously that some of the ends are open, meaning they're not connected. Um, and you can see there that the third one doesn't look like it's touching. 
So I must have the orange on top of the stripy green, something like that. Somewhere them two are overlapping. And also I had a problem with the uh, six colour, which I couldn't even see. Uh, but anyway, obviously that will obviously save a lot of time if you're plugging that into systems and thinking, oh, why is this not working? Obviously that anti meter straight away tells you where the problem is or at least helps you filter it down so you're not umming and ahhing thinking what to look at first. At this point, it might be worth mentioning that we offer eight different colours of RJ45 boots that you could use to differentiate your installs. This could be for categorising patch leads or simply for aesthetic. These fit any of the RJ45s, whereas the actual crimp connectors are only available for standard crimp RJ45s, not two-piece or push-through, just to clarify. Thank you for watching. As always, all these products shown in the video are available from ourselves on the website or feel free to contact our sales team today.